Many e-commerce businesses focus heavily on paid ads, but I'm here to show you just how powerful, or should I say lucrative, an email marketing tool like Omnisend can be for your business. So if you've chosen Omnisend as your email marketing tool, excellent choice. In this video, we'll dive into Omnisend's key features such as email and SMS automation to help you elevate your email marketing game. By integrating your store with Omnisend, which I'll show you how to do, you'll unlock a range of powerful automations like abandoned cart emails and product review requests. Wondering if you can import your existing customer data into Omnisend? Absolutely. I'll show you how to import those valuable contacts and so much more in this complete tutorial. And make sure to stick around till the end for an extra tip to supercharge your e-commerce email marketing. Let's get started. You'll be pleased to know that Omnisend seamlessly integrates with most major e-commerce platforms, including Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Wix, and many others. Today, I'm gonna to connect my Omnisend account with Shopify since it's the most popular platform. First, head to your e-commerce platform's app store. Find Omnisend and install it, just like you would with any other app. It will request you to access your customer and store data, which of course is necessary for the app to work. Then click install. It will then prompt you to create an account with Omnisend, or you can log in here if you already have one. For custom e-commerce platforms, the connection is made via API. If you need assistance, don't hesitate to contact Omnisend's support team. They are super friendly and even offer 24 seven email and chat support on the free plan. Alternatively, you can connect your store directly from Omnisend. Once you've signed up for an account, look out for the connect your store button on the dashboard or click on store name in the right hand corner and select connect your store. Once your store is connected, your customer data, including email addresses, first and last names, and purchase history is automatically imported. This initial synchronization may take a few hours, but we recommend allowing up to 24 hours for complete data transfer. The great thing is that you don't have to worry about losing any data during the import process since Omnisend ensures that your data is safe and accurately imported. For those migrating from another email service provider, transferring your contacts to Omnisend is really simple. Go to the Audience tab, and click on Add Contacts. Here you'll see several options for importing contacts from your previous provider, including a direct import from MailChimp or Klaviyo. And that's it. You've now connected your store to Omnisend and imported all your important customer data, which means you are now ready to step up your automation game and grow your business. Today, I'll walk you through setting up your first automation workflow and how you can use this to engage your new customers. So before we get stuck into the automated flows, you're going to need to add a form to your website in order to start growing your list. Head to Forms and click Create Form. Choose an embedded style form template. We'll go for the recommended welcome discount form. Next, you can customize your form by adding elements in the form builder. You can choose which information you want to gather. Email address should be a required field and you can also ask for additional info like birthdays or phone numbers, which are necessary for SMS marketing. A cool feature unique to Omnisend is this gamification feature. Add a wheel of fortune for fun and benefit from increased engagement rates. In behavior settings, you can manage audience and targeting options. For example, if you're only offering this discount to new customers, you can hide it for existing ones. Audience management lets you assign tags to all contacts who submit the form, helping you keep your contacts segmented. You can add an existing tag or create a new one directly in the form builder. I'd also recommend enabling double opt-in. This means that the user receives a follow-up email to confirm their subscription after they filled out the form, and it ensures that you build a high quality list of engaged contacts. Plus, it will help keep your deliverability rates high, something that should not be overlooked. Then after customizing your form to match your brand, you need to enable it to get the embed code. You'll find this code under behavior settings in add your code to your website. Next, open your theme's HTML file and paste the code where you want the form to appear. Alternatively, if you're adding the form to your Shopify profile, go to your Shopify admin, then online store, themes and customize. Click on the add section button and go to custom HTML. Here you can paste the embed code and click save. I recommend experimenting with section placement to find the perfect spot for your form. And you should also test the form is working correctly and sending all the data to Omnisend. Now you have your list set up, let's get your automation up and running. Omnisend prompts you to do this directly when you enable your form. Otherwise, you can head over to the Automations tab and click on Create Workflow. On my screen, you'll see various pre-built workflows categorized by type and channel. 
For this tutorial, we'll focus on the welcome workflow, since this is arguably one of the most important automated flows. OmniSend offers templates with either one or three emails. However, if you want to add more, that's totally fine. There's also an option to add an SMS to the workflow. So let's explore the email and SMS combination. Your subscribers enter this workflow when they sign up via the OmniSend form on your website and exit when they place an order. So as you can see from the workflow editor, you can adjust your timing between triggers. We'll stick to the original settings, so a welcome email is sent after one minute and a reminder via SMS the following day if they didn't complete a purchase. Honestly, it's so easy to set up automated workflows with OmniSense templates and the easy to use editor. I love that they provide tutorial videos and tips throughout to help you get started. I've used many email services and I can tell you it's not always that simple. But back to the workflow. You can edit your email content by clicking here and heading to the tab on the right. If you click edit content, you'll be taken to the email editor where you can personalize your content by adding images, calls to action, and since you have your store connected, you can add your star products directly to this initial email. However, I like the simplicity of this template, so let's just change the call to action color and add our new logo here. What's nice is the discount code is automatically created as part of this workflow. If you click on the promo code, you can see the options to choose between free shipping or cart discount. We'll stick with the product discount option. You can also change the percentage and edit discount rules such as minimum order price or set it to only apply the discount to certain product collections. I'd recommend adding social handles to get the most out of this welcome email and encourage your customers to follow your brand. Just like a normal email campaign, you should always send a test email to make sure all your links are working and that the general look and feel reflects your brand. You can also do so by clicking here. Once you are happy with your email, click finish editing and you'll be taken back to the workflow editor. For the text automation, click directly on the flow action and edit the content in the right hand tab. Once you're happy with the automation, click start in the top right corner. Again, make sure to test everything's working correctly. After enabling the workflow, you can track statistics for each step by clicking here on the three dots and then heading to view report on the drop down menu. Here you'll find reports on purchase completions, exit rates, as well as unsubscribes and open and click through rates. So there you have it. Your first automated workflow is all set up. And for the extra tip we promised, did you know that 75% of customers look for reviews before they buy a product? OmniSend makes it super easy to request customer reviews and display them in your emails and Shopify website. And it's definitely worth it for those extra sales. To add this to your email, you'll need to collect some product reviews within your OmniSend account. You can set up an automation to ask for reviews via email or text after someone buys from your store. Once you have the reviews, head back to automations and select one of the recommended product review workflows. You'll see the option to add them here in your campaign editor. Another important aspect of email marketing is newsletters. Let's create your first email campaign with OmniSend. Head over to campaigns, then click on create campaign and choose the email campaign type, which in this case would be email. As you can see, OmniSend has a variety of professional looking emails, which you can filter by goal or type. I'm going to use the first recommended template. On the left hand side tab, where it says library, you'll see it says quick add. Here you can find different elements such as text, images, video and product listings. All you need to do is drag them into your email like so. Click on the text to edit and you can adjust your font size and style on the right. If you're stuck for inspiration, you can take advantage of their AI assistant, which is also useful for checking your grammar. Once you've played around with the look and feel of your email design, send a test email to see how your campaign will look to your audience. Once you're happy with your email content, click choose email recipients and you'll be taken to a new window. Here it'll ask you if you want to send to all subscribers or segment your audience. And I would always recommend segmenting since it will give you better engagement rates. Click on the let me choose segments option and select your desired list. If you haven't already created a segment or a list yet, you'll need to exit this window and go to the audience tab. Here you can import the specific list you want to send this campaign to, or you can click on the segments tab and you'll be presented with a range of suggestions, which I have to say are very useful for e-commerce business owners. For example, you can send emails to users who started the checkout process but didn't finish, or inactive users. The rules of the segment are already in place, so all you need to do is click create to start using. 
Then once your campaign content is ready and you've selected the audience or segment you want to send it to, check the email settings such as subject line, sender and preheader. Choose to send your campaign immediately or schedule for a better time that suits your audience. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more email marketing tips and tutorials. And if you want to learn more about the key automated workflows to set up for your online store, I've added a link to our downloadable guide in the description. So make sure you check that out.